Hi guys, I'm back with a contest entry and this is for Proud Gerbler on reaching 50 plus subscribers and he's doing a contest. Well done by the way for getting 50 plus, you deserve so many more and you deserve them all. Um, and the theme is to do cage tour and featuring the pet, the favourite toy etc. So I haven't actually done shown the gerbil tank yet um, because there's still a few tweaks to do but I thought it'd be fine to do at the moment um, just because I quite like the setup at the moment but I've got little bits to do. So they're in my bedroom. Um, I've just cleaned them out because with the, I find with a gerbil tank if you do a cage toy you can't really see everything that you've um, put in there and it's not really a toy then it's not showing everything and I've just put them back in so hopefully they won't destroy it all by the time I get through it all. Um, so yeah, they live in a, what big is it, what size is it, a three foot tank, which is the clear uh, clear seal one, which it got like a normally got a black thing on there, but I haven't put them on, and they seem to really like it, I'm going to build a loft, but I still can't figure out what I can use for an upper level. So I'm just going to start, they hold my two gerbils, but that one's gizmo, that one's haze. And the lid I know is not a secure lid, but I do have a lid in progress, the mesh one. one. Um, but I've got to put a frame around it, and I don't really have the time to do it. But these are secure, don't worry. They've been on there since I put them in this tank. Um, and so on top, please excuse the lid, like I just said. On the top we got a hay ball, which is filled with Virgis hay, because they do seem to like it to use it for their bed in. And then we got a parrot toy, which they've chewed the loofer off, because they used to have in the um the bunny shed, but... I took it out because George wasn't touching it, but they started chewing it, and they seem to really like these type of toys. And um, but here I got a, a sizzle rope toy which I made myself. Um, oh, by the way, I had them from Pets at Home. Um, it's got like two balls, wooden balls on it, and a um a net on there. And then they have the water bottle. Um, it's the only place I can put it at the moment, just because um obviously with the loft I'll eventually get. They can, you know, it'd be easier for them to get to, but they don't worry, they don't turn to chew this um, because it's pretty high and they just seem to reach the nozzle. In the corners, which um, I will explain everything that's under the bed in in my next couple of slides, um, we've got these willow sticks which are in every corner, and the bed in is wood shavings, um, which is a snowflake one, and I've got a few other bed ins in there, but not a lot. Um, but yeah, they seem to really like that. And they got a rock which is down there, which has been baked in the oven. And they got a tight roll tube which they kind of start chewing. Um, they got the uh, lodge which you will see, which I will uh, will show you. And then they got the treat bowl which I take out um, pretty soon, but it's in there so they know it's there. Hello. Hi. And um, so in the moment, on the moment they got a marky in there and a dreamy. Hi, hello. Then they got the food bowl, which just has one scoop at the moment because I don't normally give them a food bowl, but it shows you guys um, what kind of food they actually have at the moment. They okay. have the jelly gerbil mixed with a little bit of mealworms in there, and then a surround bowl, and that's the spotty one. Then, um, hello! They have this like soft cardboard thing. It's like just nice soft cardboard, comes in packagings. And then they got this like there, and they willow sticks with a kiwi stick there as well. They got the woodland, woodland's lot of rollers, is, is it? Something like that. And then they got this another part of mesh here, which on the mesh they have their garland, which is their favourite toy, one of their favourite toys. They've got two favourite toys. Um, and they got this safe rope for the always tend to destroy, which um, they really like. Um, but it's just hanging on there. And then here we have a hay, um, hay tunnel, which is from Wilkinson's. And we have another toy roll tube this, that, they are their favourite toys too um, we have <laughs> what are you doing uh, a tube which is from the range and there was a pound and then they have another toy roll tube which is a kitchen roll tube just going from there up so it's can help them kind of thing start digging and then they got another toy roll tube and they got this tunnel here which I made for them so I can see them um, I'll feature that in my next slide. Um, in the corner here they just have, the bed is quite thick as well, uh, they just have a thick um, layer of snowflake, like, not snowflake, 
flake bedding, which is there. It's a nice big thick pet bit. And then they got the edible one. What are you doing? Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it looked like he waved then. Um, which is just held up by um, this woodlands bridge. I thought I'd do something different with it because I always put it into a bridge. So I thought I'd hold the bed in and they can take the bed in whenever they want. So that's the top, what the top looks like. They don't have a lot of ex expensive toys, like store-bought ones, because they seem to like cardboard boxes, that type of thing. So look what they've done down there. And the reason why they um, have no cardboard boxes at the moment is because they've actually shredded all the ones we got, we've used. So um, no more cardboard boxes for them for a minute. Hello. Hi. Hi. So yeah, oh, they're flicking it everywhere. Um, uh, well, that's basically it, and I'm going to show you what's on the bottom now. So on the very bottom, I just felt I have a very, very thin layer of wood shavings, just so it absorbs any pee. Um, but um, all this is normally buried, it's sort of that's why I'm kind of like I'm showing you. Cardboard, like it's like a um, triangular shape, just there. So then it starts them off with the um, dig in it kind of like helps them out a bit just there so i might can see them as well when they start doing a tunnel there they always do it then they got a tube which is from the range and then this is a foil tube which i had to keep uh, mainly just tubes in the bottom you know because they like to destroy these and use them for bed in so i had to keep some underneath because i got quite a lot of them in here um and that's another foil tube that's basically it on the bottom because they like to do whatever they want to and it's just Basic wood shavings. This is the wood shavings is the best I can really find. Um, this is the snowflake one, so it's like dust extracted and everything. And so the next uh, level, we'll call it, um, is not very thick either, but it's a bit more than last time because if you remember, it was that much, and you could see the top of this. Um, but you can see now where the tunnel actually is, and obviously everything's buried now. But yes, there's another bit in there which I still keep on building up. But this is basically I basically do it in levels because I find that when it's easier for you to place in, save you digging it in and putting it in position that you want, and then just putting stuff so over then the top. inside the tank, obviously still wood shavings. Um, I mainly use wood shavings, like I've said just um before. Over here is the favorite toy, and this is the de uh, two man dented shoe. Did have parsley in there in it, but he's kind of eaten it. Um. I don't know what it is. It's, I bought it when I had Snow and Storm when I first had them, and it's kind of like a thing where I don't know. It's and I got two willow sticks here because this is where I stop on the willow sticks thing because they have to be adorable. Um, and I got three sticking up here, and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sticking up. And there. I got two willow sticks under there, and I got the um, Woodlands Range Rose Cottage, I think it is. Um, I don't know if it's on it. I'm going to show you where they've chilled actually. There you go. They just chewed there. I don't put no bedding inside it because they could just take it out and move their bed. They don't sleep in this, but they like to hide in it. So thank you. That's everything. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it helps me out loads. And congratulations to Pro Jubler on reaching 50, 50 plus subscribers. Uh, you're a lovely person, and you deserve everything. So please, guys, go and subscribe to him. And yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching again. And I hope you enjoyed the video. So, bye.